Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll talk about maximum power transfer. And this is important because in this, two concepts are actually discussed. One is the Thevenin's theorem concept, another is maximum power transfer concept. So most teachers prefer to give questions from this chapter. So both the concepts are tested. Now let's see what is the fundamental concept. The maximum power is transferred from the source to load when the resistance of the source is equal to the resistance of the load. So this is the source, let's say a battery, uh, which has an internal resistance of 10 ohms. And then we have a load uh, whose uh, resistance is 10 ohms. So since they are matching, that is our load is equal to our source Therefore, according to this theory, maximum power transfer will take place from the source to load. Now, I'll uh, just uh, solve one little example. Uh, consider this battery 20 volt. It has an internal resistance of 10 ohms. And then we have a load resistance of 5 ohms. So how do we calculate the power? You know, power is V over uh, sorry, current is V over R. So first we calculate the current, 20 volt divided by total resistance. So we get current 1.33 ampere. And now we use I square R to find power. So I square R gives it 8.89 watt. Now, uh, I to, to my satisfaction, what I have done is that I have taken a lot of variations in this load that is this the source remains 10 ohm so the source remains 10 ohm and the load i have varied from 1 ohm to 20 ohm and i have calculated the power and if you go through this chart you can see that as we are increasing our load the power is increasing and when our load is 10 ohm which is equal to the our source the power is 10 watt. This is the maximum power. If you keep on increasing the load further, the power is reducing. So from this chart, you can conclude that for maximum power or maximum power transfer takes place when our load is equal to our source. Now there is a theoretic, a theoretical explanation given in your book and I hope you can go through that and understand. So this is the primary concept that uh, we'll focus in this video. Okay, so the maximum power transferred from source to load when the resistance of the load is equal to the resistance of the source. Okay, and a, an example here for just see this is an amplifier and we have a speaker. Uh, if we have the speaker has a 2 ohms uh, resistance now if the amplifier also has 2 ohms resistance only then maximum power transfer will take place okay now how do we calculate the power for any load we take help uh, of the thevenin's theorem we replace the entire circuit by thevenin's equivalent circuit and then we connect the load and so from here you can see that the current through the circuit will be V Thevenin divided, uh, divided by R Thevenin plus RL. So V Thevenin divided by R Thevenin plus RL. So this is the current and the power is I square into RL. So this is square into RL. So this is the general formula for any load. And as we saw here that for maximum power R load is equal to R Thevenin. So if we put R load equal to R Thevenin in this, R load is equal to R Thevenin, then this power equation will reduce to a simplified one that is V Thevenin square divided by 4 into R Thevenin or we can also say 4 into R load. Now let's do an example. This is the circuit here. We need to find the value of RL for maximum power transfer. And also we need to find the value of maximum power that will be transferred. 
So as you are familiar with the Thevenin's theorem, our first step will be to take away the uh, load, remove the load, and then find the Thevenin's voltage and Thevenin's resistance at this point. So V Thevenin will be equal to this voltage here because there is no current flowing here, no current flowing, so no voltage drop in these two. So V Thevenin is equal to V3 ohm and V3 ohm can be found by simple voltage deviation rule. So 10 volt divided by 2 plus 3, 10 volt divided by 2 plus 3 multiplied by 3. So this gives 6 volt. So V Thevenin is 6 volt and now we'll find R Thevenin and I hope you recall the procedure that to find R Thevenin we put the source to zero so, and voltage source is short circuited to make it zero. Now these two resistances are in parallel, two and three, and then uh, with series with 10 and two, so we can write that the total resistance is 10 ohm plus these two parallel, two and three parallel, plus two ohm, and solving this, we find the answer to be 13.2 ohm. So V Thevenin and R Thevenin found, so maximum a power we know will be when RL is equal to R Thevenin. So the first part is, uh, the answer is that the RL is 13.2. And then the second part is the value of maximum power. So we'll use this formula, V Thevenin square divided by 4 R Thevenin. V Thevenin we had found to be 6, so 6 square and 4 into 13.2. So it is 0 0.68 watt. So you can use this formula or even if you can use this formula, the answer will be same. Okay, now here is an example from the book 4.13. Uh, we have to again find the value of RL for maximum power transfer and find the value of maximum power that is being transferred. So we just follow the same technique. We remove the uh, load, find V Thevenin here. Now, uh, a point to note, how do we find V Thevenin from the circuit? There are a couple of options. You can do the mesh, you can do mesh analysis, you can do uh, load analysis, you can use source transformation, etc. But let's do a simple technique. We'll just take the outer mesh. So we'll write KVL in the outer mesh. And so this is the equation we starting from here. So minus 12, 6 I1 plus 3 I2 plus 2 into 0. Now there is no current here. In this part, no current is flowing because the circuit is not complete. So 2 into 0 and plus V Thevenin. So this is uh, the KVL equation. Now we don't know what is I1, we don't know what is I2, so we'll solve uh, from these two meshes. So mesh 1, if you write KVL here, it is minus 12, 6 I1 plus 12 I1 minus I2, 12 I1 minus I2, and simplifying we get equation number 2. And then from mesh 2, you see there is a current source here. So I2 will be equal to 2 ampere. But the only difference is that the direction. Our current I2 is coming from up to down. Whereas this one is going from down to up. So we'll use a minus sign. So I2 is equal to minus 2A. And now putting the value of I2 in this, we can find I1. So I1 we get is minus 2 by 3. And now putting I1 and I2 in this, we can find V Thevenin, which will be equal to 22 volt. I hope you can uh, do this yourself. Okay, and now to uh, find R Thevenin, as you know, we have to uh, put the source is zero. So this one is made zero by uh, open circuiting the current source and short circuiting the voltage source. So the short circuited voltage source, open circuited this. Now these two are in parallel and with series with this. So 2 plus 3 plus 6 and 12 in parallel. 
and the answer is 9 ohm. So V Theven and R Theven and known. And now we can find uh, using this circuit, uh, we can find the value of RL. We know that RL has to be equal to R Theven and for maximum power transfer. So we can write RL is equal to R Theven and is equal to 9 ohm. And the value of power is again we'll use that formula V Theven and square 4 RL. So it is 22 square 4 by 9. 13.44 watt is the answer so i hope uh, this gives you an understanding how to solve this type of problem